Hello, and welcome to the Grape Jelly Library, where we love to talk about books. My name is Flossie. Thank you for joining me. I always look forward to your visit. I am being serious right now because I have a serious problem on my hands. problem that I have. Maybe some of you have this problem. Maybe some of you don't. I like to consider myself to be pretty organized. But for some reason, I am not organized when it comes to my books. I will be the first to admit that I do own a lot of books. And sometimes it is hard to keep an eye on all of my children. And sometimes I don't quite know which, which children I have and which children I don't. Mm. So the solution to that could be one of several things. The most obvious would be to get some sort of Excel sheet going, some sort of log sheet. And if I am not going to refer to my Goodreads catalog of books that I have, then I get what I deserve. Second solution would be just not to buy any more books because I am reckless. I'm reckless. I'm reckless. There's no excuse for what I have done. Annie Jacobson, national bestseller, Operation Paperclip, a secret intelligence program that brought Nazi scientists to America. And it looks like this. Don't confuse that with this one, Annie Jacobson, Operation Paperclip, the secret intelligence program that brought Nazi scientists to America. Okay. Community Board. It's a novel by Tara Conklin. She is the best-selling author of the Last Romantic. And this book, Community Board, is a pitch perfect comedy of manners. But you know what? So is this Community Board by Tara Conklin. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. Ruth Ozeki, The Book of Form and Emptiness. It's inventive. It's vivid. It's propelled by a sense of wonder. Time. And yet, time and time again, so is this Ruth Ozeki book. Are you getting the picture? Oh, a classic. Charles, it's a New York Times bestseller. Um, it's tightly written, tautly paced, study of terror that makes us tingle, says the Washington Post. And it was written by Peter Benchley. And it looks like this. And although they're not exactly the same, the storyline is. Well, I have an affinity for hardcover books. And that's why I bought All's Well by Mona Ebod. And um, this, I have read this just this past winter. And it is true. It is widely exhilarating. It's fresh and it takes your breath away. I, You know, Lauren Groff, the New York Times bestselling author of Fates and Furies, 
proclaims that, and I would agree with that. Mona Awad, or Awad, is the author of Lenny, which I have still yet to read. There's my hard co covered copy. Hard covered copies look so beautiful on a shelf. But you know what? I guess I'm getting a, a fondness for soft cover books too. Again. Same story. Same exact story. You will not miss a beat. If you read this one or this one, you'll come out exactly in the same way. Why do I do the things that I do when it comes to my book? May the powers that be help me to get a grip on my bookish situations so that this doesn't continue to happen. Comment below. Let me know. Are you as disheveled? as I am when it comes to buying books, or do you have your act together? Comment below with any kinds of tips or tricks you would like to pass on, with the exception of the obvious. Obviously, if I was pay paying better attention to my Goodreads um, bank of books, I would not do this. Sometimes, I just don't carry my phone with me everywhere I go. I try not to be you know, I try not to have that attached to my head. <sighs> so there you have it. A not so proud moment in time for me when it comes to book buying. I, I do have a little shame. <laughs> I do for not having my act together. Uh, thank you for listening and sharing in my blunders. Until we meet again, know that I love you. Be well, be good, be reading, and may all your dreams come true.